It is now my honor to begin the first induction. I would like to invite to the stage Missy Foote, who will introduce Char Glessner Monier. Fast, fast, fast. That's what opposing coaches would always say to me about Char Glessner after a field hockey or a lacrosse game. I'd nod and smile, and then they'd say, they'd sigh and say something about how she made the whole team play fast and how she could catch anything and how she made it look easy and how every time she shot, she scored, all of which were true. But what they didn't know was that Char Glessner was also a rascal. She loved to tease, challenge, laugh, and compete whether racing after a 50-50 ball in practice or being the first out of the post-game shower so she could get to the tailgate first before her hungry teammates. For Char, competition was sheer joy and everything, everything was competition. She took a childlike delight in the unbridled play, free from self-doubt or so much as a moment's hesitation. Her genius was her sense of fun and creativity a quality which cannot be taught. I would occasionally catch fragments of Char's banter as she egged her teammates on in practice. And while I often had to stifle a laugh at her silliness, I would also silently thank her for creating for all of us a culture of joy and fun in the pursuit of excellence. Despite numerous awards during her time as a Middlebury athlete, a few of which include three NCAA lacrosse championships, three All-Americans, two NESCAC Player of the Year honors, a NESCAC Rookie of the Year honor, and on and on. Her teammates would say none of that was as important as her ability to inspire them with her full heart and her all-in attitude. Char has absolutely no ego, and as her field hockey coach Catherine DiLorenzo would say, is among the kindest, most endearing, empathetic human beings on, planet, on the planet. You only needed to watch Char and Peter Cohn interact to understand Char's huge heart and the harmony between those two. Char loved Peter and Peter loved Char. No introduction of Char would be complete without a mention of her number one fan, her father, John Glessner, known to those near and dear as Eo. A longtime teacher at Pingree, Eo somehow managed to come to almost every one of her field hockey and lacrosse games, where, after every win, he donned a kilt and played the bagpipes. We heard a lot of Scottish music in the days when Char was a Panther. Now, most fathers love watching their college-age offspring strive for excellence on the athletic fields, but it always seemed to me that John's pride in his daughter, her teammates, and her coaches surpassed that of any other. I loved walking off the field regaled by John playing the pipes, and the sparkle in his eye, so much like his daughter's, always brought home to me that the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. I know EO is playing the bagpipes right now in heaven for you tonight, Char. While it may seem an unusual story to characterize a Hall of Fame athlete, I must share one more endearing memory to sum up Char Glessner for you. Once, in the middle of practice, during a team huddle, I reached into my coat pocket to pull out my whistle when a piece of candy flew to the turf. Before I could even bend over to pick it up, Char swooped in, unwrapped it, and popped it unapologetically into her mouth. <laughs> like I said before, competition was pure joy for Char, and everything but everything, including the coach's last piece of candy, was competition. Char, from a grateful coach and from your grateful teammates, we could not be more proud of you. Congratulations on this Hall of Fame honor.
Standing ovation, thank you so much. This is um, amazing. Uh, Missy, thank you so much. Um, Catherine DiLorenzo, thank you. Missy Hopkins, Aaron Quinn. Whew. Abigail just told me, if you feel like you're gonna cry, just put your tongue on the top of your mouth and it really helps. <laughs> Uh, President Patton, the alumni office, my family, and so many incredible friends and teammates who have come from so far to be here tonight, I'm touched. Congratulations to all the other inductees being celebrated tonight. I'm honored to be in your inductee class. All right, I'm not gonna cry anymore, this is ridiculous. Um, so I was a bit overwhelmed um, with what to say here tonight, so I decided to write a poem. Missy said to me, if I get nervous or feel like I might cry, just to imagine that you're all naked, so just throwing it out there. Um, so here we go. All right, the story starts in 99, the day I visited Mid. Missy was the shining star, I was just a kid. It had always been my dream, oh how I held Mid in my heart. But I'd have to stretch my SATs to give this goal a start. Dad and mom felt equally this place would be just right. I'd have a new family, but still be in their sight. When Missy called to say, you're in, it was as if my dad was too, for he'd have a place to bagpipe now on fields in white and blue. And so the journey began as a panther for many seasons. I'd like to share some memories here and wax nostalgic within reason. Field hockey marked the beginning of school, excitement to get back, hoping our summer training was enough and we wouldn't have Coach Delo on our back. Countless runs up Chipman Hill, Missy on our tails, passing us and back again, ensuring no one failed. Other teams aren't doing this, she'd say as we all pant. You are tougher than you think you are. Never say you can't. Some quotes I still remember and live by to this day. You can do anything for 20 seconds. Back pocket all the way. Shoveling snow off the turf, track workouts in the cold. These were a test of our endurance and together we grew bold. These teammate bonds were indescribable. Our goals seemed to align. Grit, hard work, passion. We had winning on our minds. Eileen, our pink flamingo, deserves a special tribute. Propped up on our good leg, good luck she did contribute. Game days were spectacular. Superstitions, butterflies, visualizations in the locker room, Hugh Marlowe pep talks, and high fives. Peter Cohn brought inspiration we all did so adore. Bring home the bacon, girls. Disposable camera, juicy fruit galore. Pump-up music starts to blast. We run our warm-up lap. It's a great day to be a Panther. Proud parents cheer and clap. Ken Prine behind the video, Henry Hopkins shooting pics. There was endless support for us. Great tailgates were our shtick. And now I tell my children as rain pelts and wind is blowing, guys, there's no such thing as bad weather, just inappropriate clothing. But it wasn't always about that win. These teams were so much more. Deepest friendships being made like nothing I had had before. Tonight we need to celebrate teammates. The glue. I'm looking at you guys. <laughs> the glue without a doubt. Making each other better players. I would never be here without. And now as a wife, and mom of three, my family is my team. Henry, Lily, Caroline, keep the passion. Okay. Go full steam. <laughs> Henry's laughing at me because I'm crying. <laughs> okay. I am so grateful to this school, my friends and mentors who, I'll say this over and over again, I'm here because of you. So raise a glass to this wonderful place. Thank you, amazing coaches and teams. And cheers to these girls, my best friends, who I hold in highest esteem. Thank you, everybody, for being here tonight.